What is up, Scum and Villainy? So today on the channel, it's another vlog. Uh, I've been getting some messages, you know, either on Instagram or YouTube or Facebook or wherever. What equipment do you use for your vlogs? And I thought it was a, a good moment to just take the time and, you know, share what I got. You know, there's there's a lot of different cameras and mics and stuff out there that works for, for you. You know, everybody has different setups that you have to use that works for your rooms and uh, wherever your filming locations are. So today I'll go over some of that stuff. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna talk about is my camera, the, the thing that I'm filming off from right now. So that's a, it's a Sony A6600, it's a mirrorless camera. Uh, this this came out, I wanna say, maybe like two years ago. I, I've had it for some time now. Um, honestly, no need for up, for upgrading because from, um, this, this is an intermediate level camera. Some say it's professional level. I think it's probably one step below. But it's a it's a mirrorless camera, a five x five axis steady shot, and it does have a lot of stabilization. So if you want to use it, you know, for selfies and taking uh, videos of yourself, it's it's perfect for that. So, just for an example, I'm, I'm showing right now what I'm showing is the picture from Amazon. You know, you can see the price point there. Prices change based on where you're buying this from. So you can get it from Amazon for this price. I'm sure Best Buy has others. B and H has other prices. So just do the research, you know, if you want to do the Sony A6600. I really think it's a good camera from from um, the, the uses that I've had for it. You know, I've, I've filmed uh, funerals, I've done parties. So this is what I really use. I use the, the Sony A6600. It's, it's a fantastic tool for any creator out there. I don't let the price scare you. There is some sticker shock there with you, but you pay what you get, right? If, you, if you're buying something for you know over a thousand bucks, you're gonna get some good quality products. So the next thing I wanted to talk about is uh, my lens. So the lens, I'm, the lens I'm using right now, it's actually a, a wide angle lens, uh, 10 to 18 millimeters. Uh, this is a, an F4. For, for what I do in my, you know, kind of dark area in this room, um, you know, I'm in a 200 square foot room here where I got all my, my collectibles. Uh, I use Hue lights above me. I got, you know, other lights in front of me. And, and then of course the background lighting adds to the lighting on the camera. But but it, what's cool is this this um, lens, if, if you don't have space, you can put it right in your face and you can zoom zoom out and you can pe pick up your ba your background. The price point for this one is, is kind of steep. I, I know um, there are some bundles out there where you can get the A6600 and the lens. I, I didn't go that route because when I, when I bought my camera I, I had other lenses already and then you know through attrition you know with with time i just replaced them out so this one on amazon you know it's about about 800 bucks just the lens only uh, you know this not a cheap hobby uh, if you're doing this you know just make sure you do your research make sure this is something you're gonna do and something you're gonna commit to because you're gonna pay a lot of money for it uh, the next thing i want to talk about is the 50 millimeter so a 50 millimeter lens it's it's um it's a standard lens you know a lot of photographers use that for for portraits um, you know i use them for you know some good shots of my my hot toys and some of the statues and another thing that i use is the the road um, wireless stove so these things are tiny they're pretty cool um so you get a transmitter and a receiver and then the cool thing is like if if you're out on the road you can hook up this to your your hot shot normally I, I connect a little lapel mic to this but yeah the lapel mic will be hidden under my shirt and this will be just clipped onto my belt and then this piece right here will just be clipped onto the hot shot uh, adapter on the, the camera and you know of course the mic will go into the camera and then this transmitter works great you know i can be 20 to 30 feet away from this thing and it's crystal clear but this is what i use uh they're kind of, they're kind of pricey you know for for the price point on them uh they're about 300 dollars and it but in, in my opinion uh it's 300 dollars well spent uh, I, i've used these things a lot for for different occasions you know people don't even realize the power of these mics until they watch it on video and then uh well in the background there uh, i got a actually got a shotgun mic pointing at me and that shot, shotgun mic is just, I got it on a cheap stand from Amazon. Amazon got has these microphone stands with the little clips, $26.99. And then th that shotgun mic, believe it or not, is a Techstar, very cheap. I got it for like 40 bucks and they're probably cheaper now. And, uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll post the pictures here in the, in the video. So just searching on it right now, it's $31.95 on Amazon. Uh, I used to have a Rode shotgun mic and it used to piss me off because it, sometimes it'll work and sometimes it wouldn't work on my camera when I unplugged it and plugged it back in. 
So I was like, you know, I'm, I'm gonna go with something else, you know. So I tried this one out just to test it, and they work freaking badass. And it, and it actually has a booster on there too. So like, if, if you're in an environment where it's noisy, you can boost up the range, and then it has some different frequencies, and it definitely cleans up your sound. It, it's it's perfect in my opinion, especially for the the amount of money it costs. You can't go wrong with it. And then other things that I use. So like, um, I know some of you guys probably see me jump on some of these live streams. Uh, so when I'm on that, I you know I have a headset on, and actually got a, a gaming headset for that. So this is a. A Microsoft gaming headset, uh, 7.1 surround sound, uh, Dolby Atmos. This thing is fantastic. Um, I originally bought it for gaming, of course, but I don't really game as much as I used to. Doing like video edits and, and going on these live streams, man, this is just badass. And then I use a, a Blue Yeti USB driven mic too for the live streams. I think uh, this this last weekend when I, I jumped on the Hyperdrive channel with George and um, Frankie, this was like in my shot. I didn't even realize that because I was messing around with my camera and I was trying to show some other things in the room. But normally that's hidden behind the scenes. I, I try to hide that. But yeah, I appreciate all those guys for letting us jump on uh, and uh, be on those live streams, so much fun. I get to meet more people from the community, interact with people I, I just, I don't get a chance to sometimes. And um, lastly, talking about George and the, the Hyperdrive, uh, we had a post show, you know, where I was with, with George, well, Craig Frankie, and, and my camera died because I forgot to put the charger for uh, my camera. And um, George is like, why don't you just use a, a USB pack for it? And I was like, Man, I got all these laying around in the house. I never even thought about connecting one of these into my camera, you know. And then um, it'll just keep it charged and psh, smart dude. So yeah, like I carry these things around with me all the time. And, and the reason I carry these around is because I use a different camera when I'm on the go too. So I also got this uh, Pocket Pro. So these, these are little cool cameras, you know, you can just put them in your pocket. You know, they come with all sorts of little adapters. Uh, you can do selfie mode like, like this, where I can just talk to it. And, and a lot of the videos I've posted uh, come from this too. So a lot of people don't even realize that. And then you can just flip it around and you can just video whoever's in front of you. This is a freaking cool camera. Um, there's, there's so many functions this thing has that you have to go on YouTube and look it up. Because I've only cracked the, the nut on it a little bit. All right, that's what she said. But it comes with all sorts of things. You know, it has this little little manual toggle where you can you can use that to zoom in, zoom out. It has a, adapters, like if you want to adapt, put them on uh, like iPhone or Android phones. And um, you, can even, you can even use your phone as a display it just connects to the side and you just use it as a big display and there's all sorts of other adapters like this thing has a, a mic adapter so this thing lets you hook up a mic and do some wireless stuff too which is pretty cool so that's another thing i use uh, this is a micro sd card yeah real quick you know that's you know that's everything i use uh, to date you know I, I probably have other things in the room that i haven't really used in a while but this is that's my these are my go-to items that i use for for video pictures uh, live streams you know and i just want to give special thanks to you know to gabe and michael and, and george and frankie for letting me jump in on their, their live streams so much fun you know i get to you know talk to to people i don't really get a chance to talk to and um, build some some uh, friendships outside of the youtube so that's really cool so if you like this video uh, like subscribe and you know check out my other stuff you know there'll probably be a box here with some stuff and another box here with some other stuff yeah click on any one of those and i'll take you to some more content so thanks again uh, like subscribe and see you guys later